welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. We have a blank project. That's right, it's the start of a new series on the channel. Um, I know a lot of people vote for a first person shooter. I will be doing a first person horror game, kind of similar mechanics, so we will be covering it in over on that series. That will be up in the next few days. Um, but for today we're going to be doing sort of like a survival crafting kind of island series bit of a mixed bag i need to think of a good name for that <laughs> but ultimately what we're going to be doing is having all your survival mechanics so thirst hunger health and stamina we're then going to also be finding uh different ways to replenish those and also create a lovely little island environment where we can run around we can build on it craft on it um and collect items and stuff and build ourselves a little island oasis if you will so we're going to cover a lot of different things. I would also like to add some dynamic weathering, like rain and things like that. Then we can potentially do some sort of uh, weather catcher, uh, some rain catchers and stuff like that, that we could use that in our building and crafting stuff as well. So a lot of ambitious things we want to cover in this series. So uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And, you know, it's free to do. You can always change your mind down the line. And um, hopefully we will cover something that is useful for you. But as I always say, if there's anything you want me to cover, hit it, put it in the comments uh, and we can hopefully add it into this style of series. Um, so the first thing I want to do now, I, I'll be honest, if we press play, we have running, you know, we have a movable camera that we can kind of use to explore the world. So I'm not too worried really about... Um, kind of changing too much with the camera at this point in time i might add like a way to scroll in and out a little bit but for now this will do fine so the first thing i'm actually going to cover in this episode is adding in a way to just reduce our thirst and hunger we don't really necessarily need to uh, increase it until we start adding in some more kind of useful items into our game that will actually allow that so for now let's just get the mechanics in and a little widget to to do that so first things first let's open up our third person character uh we're going to add in some lovely variables uh the first one's going to be let's call it thirst and we're going to make that type float uh we're going to do a thirst max we're also going to add in um hunger and we're also going to add in hunger max now there we go now, I will just do one in this tutorial, but the other one will be exactly the same. Uh, you'll just need to tweak some figures, uh, and those figures will be how much you want to reduce it by. So, the first thing we want to do is um, let's go into our content drawer. Let's add in a um, user interface. We'll call this the player sorry i like to keep things looking fresh player hard underscore which i'm very particular with um capitals and all that sort of stuff so let's open that up the first thing we're going to need for this is a canvas to sort of map things out and the only two things we're going to need is a progress bar very simple things to add in let's do it to about there Let's copy and paste that up to about there and we can change we can mess around with the color and things like that uh, for hunger I'm gonna go with like an orange and I'm gonna leave thirst as blue because that kind of makes sense right um, I do like to keep things like the sizes the same so they kind of make sense so 450 and 40 should be good and we can close those down for now they might need some tweaking. Uh, they might need to be anchored and things like that. But for now, they'll be they'll work fine uh, for testing this. We want to go into our third person character and get an event begin play. And the first thing we need to do is create a widget like so. And we're going to just uh, assign it to that player HUD. We're then going to take this return value and add to the viewport like so and that's all we need to do to get the hud onto our screen uh, when we start playing the next thing we want to do is create a custom event 
I'm going to call this uh, remove thirst. And we're going to call that on event begin play because we always want it to be removing our thirst. So when we start playing, we need that thirst to start removing. And all we're going to do now, we don't need to regain thirst. We just need to remove it. So let's start by setting our maximum to 100 and our current to 100 because we always want to start with a full set of thirst. Same for hunger. We'll go 100. Now you can tweak your figures to be whatever you want. Um, 100 works for me. Uh, we're going to take that thirst and we're going to minus from it. And again, it's this all depends on how fast you want yours to reduce. Um, but I'm going to have it remove one every second. So let's do a... Uh, oh, we need to set our first. So drag it out, click set, and plug that in. And then we're just going to plug that in there. Then we're going to um, do a delay, like so, of just a second. We just want it to come down one every second. And then um, we're just going to recall that function, remove first. And what this will do is it will run forever until we run out of first. So once we we get a bit further on, we will add in uh, a check to make sure to see if first hits zero. And then if it does, we'll start removing health. Um, but that will all come down the line when we start dealing with health. At the moment, we're not going to touch health for a second. At the moment, all we want to do is have our first keep reducing down by one. Once we get a bit further into this and we're like, oh, you know, we have um, uh, a few more mechanics set up and things like that, we will add in a check. Uh, also, we could have it that once first hits zero, we die. Um, I also want to have it that if we... Um, if we drink from the sea, for example, the thirst will go down faster. But for getting a very quick and simple um, thirst and hunger bar going, this is all we need to do to get that going. Um, hunger, we will go, we'll remove hunger. There we go. And let's do the set here in there. Uh, we'll get. Uh, hunger again and we'll minus now I'm gonna have hunger go down a little bit slower so every second I only want to re remove 0 0.25 from my hunger um, oh grab the delay uh, I'm gonna have this happen every two seconds I'm actually gonna make this 0 0.5 I'm gonna make it half a hunger every two seconds just to keep things a little bit different and again you can quite easily add in some things to change um, change this all up as time goes on depending so as an example I might promote this to a um, might promote this to a variable called hunger reduction and same for thirst and call that thirst reduction uh, and then I might have it that depending on certain things that happen within the world um, we can amend that figure so it reduces it faster or slower depending on um, what's happened. Like Again, the example would be if you drink from the sea to regain thirst, the, the kind of negative effect from doing that would be that your thirst would then reduce uh, twice as fast going forward. So you would want to avoid drinking salty water as opposed to drinking fresh water. Um, but first thing we've got to do before that's actually going to work is go back into our player head now. So now that's all set up, we just need to click on um, the progress bar for hunger. We go into the binding, we'll create this. I did say I wasn't going to set up hunger, but I've kind of done it now as we're here. We're going to cast to third person character. We're going to get player character. We're going to pull out and get uh, hunger. And we also want to get hunger max and then we want to divide hunger by our hunger max to give us the appropriate value for our hunger bar um, compile that and we'll go back to the event oh no we won't we'll go back to the designer sorry we'll click on the first and we'll click on the binding for that and we're gonna pretty much do exactly the same thing 
Uh, so I'm going to take that because it saves me typing it out again. I uh, probably could have grabbed the divide as well. Uh, we're going to get thirst and we're going to get thirst max. We're going to divide the two and plug it in. And when we press play now, what we should have at this point in time is a hunger and a thirst bar that now reduce over time. There we go. We can see our thirst going quite nicely. But our hunger is not interesting. Okay. Let's go back to the designer. Let's go on to here. Let's search that one out. So the hunger and the hunger max is fine. Let's go into here. Hunger has 100. Maximum is 100. And it's minusing 0 0.5. Let's just... Ah, I oh, I know exactly why it's not going down. It's because I haven't added it on here. There we go. Remove hunger. <clears throat> just like that. And we can compile that. Let's click on the map. Click enter. And now you can see they are slowly starting to reduce. Now that's quite high. Um, those would need to be tweaked because imagine if you only had a hundred seconds to uh, for for water every time. Um, that would be complete and a nightmare, especially if we added in the fact of if you drank salty water from the sea, you know it reduces it faster. It would be a complete nightmare to keep your thirst uh, at bay. Um, so that will definitely probably need um, some amending amending down the time. Um, down the line, just even. But uh, yeah, so we now have a hunger bar and a thirst bar. Um, as I said, looking back at the code, this is great, but at the moment there's no consequences to this. If this hits zero, it doesn't really mean anything. Um, but again, we will return to this um, in some extra, in a few episodes, to add in um, when we add in our health and things to. Um, have it so that if we get to zero on thirst or hunger, it then starts reducing health. And if it does reduce the health, uh, we eventually die if it hits zero. Um, and of course, when we start adding in water and items and stuff, we can start adding to these um, as well. So um, you can kind of already see how the episodes are going to play out in the future. But at the point, at the end of this episode, you should have a hunger bar and a thirst bar, and they should start reducing from this point on. When we go into the next couple of episodes, as I said, we'll work on um, making them stop when they get to zero and reducing health. Uh, that'll be the next thing. We're also going to be setting up our island and weather and all sorts of other lovely things. So again, if you've enjoyed this episode, hit the subscribe button. We will be covering a lot of um, uh, topics in this series. We're also going to be covering a lot of topics in our first person horror series. And of course, we are doing our Pokemon at the moment. And there is the Mr. Uh, Mr. Guru uh, game jam coming up in the next uh, sort of couple of weeks as well so keep an eye out for that and uh, just a big thank you so much to everyone uh, for helping the channel along so far uh, every one of you has really helped make a difference so thank you very very much and i will see you all very soon much love take care bye